Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I am sharing my Scentsy warehouse sale haul. Um, I didn't go too crazy. Uh, not too, too crazy. And this is my first ever Scentsy order. So that's exciting. I got three warmers, a brick, and a bunch of bars. Um, I'm going to show you the warmers first. I'm not going to take them out of the box because none of these are new and it's honestly kind of annoying to like put it back in the box. So the first one I got is the Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie Boogie's Casino and that's what it looks like. It's so freaking cute. I love it so much and I think this was only like 20 bucks. I don't remember how much I paid for everything. Um partially because it's been a couple weeks maybe three weeks by now um since I placed the order and to um my husband technically placed the order I saw that they were having a sale and I was like "Ooh, sale let's window shop and like I started adding a bunch of stuff to my cart and then I went to show it to my husband and he took my phone to look at it and then he like messed with it a little bit and then he's like cool I bought you stuff and I'm like Thanks. So sweet. And the second one is Disney's Alice in Wonderland. And it's like a stack of teacups. <laughs> this, as much as I am obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas, I think that the design of this warmer is my favorite. So this is a hot plate warmer. Um, it's an element warmer. So it doesn't light up. Um, and... It sits on a plate and the plate gets hot instead of sitting on a bulb. But let's see if I can show you. The top cup here is the warmer dish. So it's a tea the warmer dish is a teacup, you guys. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh, it's so freaking cute. And then inside, like when you look inside the cup where you place the wax, it's like Alice falling down the rabbit hole. It's, it's it's so cute and then one of the cups like the center cup is the Cheshire yeah. cat like the Cheshire cat turned into a cup and like the little handle is his tail it's it's so stinking cute I, I can't it's too cute too cute and then the third warmer I got is the Disney villains all the rage warmer and there's that eye. I think this one is so cute um it's like a stained glass style and each panel is a different villain and I think that's really cool because you can kind of like rotate it so that it can feature whichever like villain you're in the mood for or whichever one is your favorite I'm definitely gonna have it on Hades for quite a while because Hades is my fave so those are the warmers that I got there were definitely more warmers that I wanted but my cart was at like $500. So, no, not quite. I think it was like $350. My cart was at, it, it was a reasonable $350. It was definitely cut down from that, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think I'm going to show you the brick that I got next. So I got the Orchard by the Sea brick, and I can smell this through the package. Oh my god god it's so good <laughs> so good. mine did come uh broken but it's not a big deal it's gonna get melted i on i love this so much i want another brick of it and this is my first brick ever the only the only scentsy scents i've ever owned are ones that have been gifted to me and i think i only owned like four or five so yeah this smells so this is definitely a summer scent um but in my opinion it could also be like a summer fall transition scent um depending on your preferences and maybe your region um but this smells like an apple orchard mixed with fresh beachy air so perfect name I need to stop closing it if I'm going to keep smelling it. So it's Apple Orchard, 
sea salt skies crisp linen and green mango i know that this is gonna wear away but for the time being i wrote down the um scent notes in here i know the oils are gonna like break it down and make it wear away but it's not a big deal <sighs> so good so so good I really want this to go <laughs> on clearance. Maybe, maybe it'll go on clearance like at the end of the summer. We'll see, but I'm hoping at some point I can get another like brick or two or three or four or five because I love this scent so much. I mm -mm. This was love at first sniff. Love at first sniff. So good. So good. I do plan on buying some more bricks. There are three from last year's holiday release that are on clearance right now that I plan on purchasing probably at the end of this week sometime. Hopefully. And then I'll be purchasing two other ones from the spring brick release from this year. Um... not in the budget to buy more of that one right now though very sad very sad okay let's see I have one in here that is like a standalone I have one in here that is I'm gonna save for last because that's some that's got a story and then the rest in here are from um a bundle that I purchased so the standalone one is bonfire beach and this was another love it for sniff this like something about this is very nostalgic to me but I can't place it but it smells so good so the scent notes are toasted marshmallow white flint sandalwood salty air and ocean spray it smells like you're roasting marshmallows on a, over a bonfire at the beach like that's what it is the name is perfect. And it smells so good. You really get that marshmallow. It's like heavy on the marshmallow and it's so good. I am planning on purchasing a couple more of these uh, when I buy those bricks. So. Yes. Okay, the next ones I'm going to show you came in a bundle of and they were so they had a bunch of bundles that were like categorized by scent profile and I got the woodsy bundle which came with 10 bars so we're just gonna we're just gonna dive in and the first one here is amber hollow and the scent notes are clove leaf cardamom dark amber and cedar wood and this smells like You really smell the cardamom and the cedar wood in there. Um, it smells a little leathery also. This smells like when I would go to like, sorry about all the likes. This smells similar to when I would go to like Old West style, um, like tourist town things or like, uh, ghost towns this smells what like the general shop would smell like it just it's just good it's just good I really like that one I remember seeing some videos where some people were saying that they really didn't like this scent, but I love it next is my hero and this is Cool Citrus, White Birch, and Crisp Air. This one is very cologne -y, But I love the cologne woodsy smells. It's just good. There's nothing I can really describe this as. But you definitely get the... The fresh air and the citrus. And then the birch kind of just makes it more earthy it's nice 
uh, Palo Santo. This one is just pure Palo Santo. Uh, it's the the notes though are charred cedar bark and teak. It just smells like bark. It smells like tree bark. I got red berry and spruce and I didn't look at any of <laughs> I didn't look at any of the scents that were in the bundle. I just knew I love woodsy scents, so I'm going to get the bundle. Uh this was cranberry, raspberry and blue spruce. And this smells like Christmas. It smells so good. I it's it smells like a hobby shop at Christmas time. It smells like fruity from the berries, but then it definitely smells of spruce. And I love it so much. It's so good. It's so good. I can't can't say enough good things about that. This one is evergreen and grapefruit. And this one is fresh fir needles, white cedar, and grapefruit. So good. I love this. I love this. So I got two Christmas tree like scents in here. Um, I got feeling pine, and then I got this one, which again is evergreen and grapefruit. This smells like. So this one just smells like straight up pine trees like this smells like a Christmas tree lot and the notes on this are eucalyptus pine and mistletoe this one just smells like a Christmas tree lot straight up Christmas tree lot and then this one to me smells like when you get the tree home and you're like you're decorating it and like you're pulling out ornaments and the ornaments still kind of smell like the Christmas from before and maybe you have like some cider boiling so you get the, like the sweet fruitiness but you also get the treat it's just this is so good and these are gonna be perfect for this Christmas this holiday season because um since we have been living in an apartment for the last year uh this past Christmas my husband my husband and I decided that instead of getting wow I cannot speak instead of getting a real tree we were going to get a fake tree so we have a fake tree and this is the first time since we've been married that we've had a fake tree because I've always insisted on a real tree because I just feel like it's the vibe is just not the same <laughs> it's just not the same I don't mind having to water it and I don't mind cleaning up after it I need the vibes of the real Christmas tree but we both decided that living in an apartment, it would just be easier cleanup wise and like we wouldn't have to figure out how to dispose of it and everything. It would just be easier to get a fake one. So we did. And we'll probably end up having a fake one when we move also this year, just using the one from last year. So these are going to be perfect because I can burn these and make the house smell like a Christmas tree when we decorate it. Long, I feel like that was a long story, but anyway, those are gonna be perfect. Next is Shut Eye from the Catching Z's collection. So pretty. And this is peach, jasmine, and cedar. This smells like I can't put my nose on it. I just can't. I can't put my nose on it. it. Smells like something familiar. Almost like a medicine, but like also maybe a hair care product. I don't know. It smells good though. It smells good. It doesn't smell bad, but there's just, it smells familiar and I just can't place it. Okay, there's Zeppelin. 
And the notes on this are citrus and sage. And this smells really good. It just smells earthy and masculine. And you get the tiniest little hint of citrus. It's just really good. We've got redwood and cedar, and I did not write the scent notes on here because it's the, the scent notes were basically just redwood and cedar. But this smells like a wood cabin and like a little leathery and like trees. Just smells like trees, but like specifically cabiny type trees. That's good. Okay, let's see. We got one more from the bundle, which is ginger and spruce. And the scent notes are spruce, fresh ginger, and cassis. This one does not agree with me. This one's got some funk to it. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's the ginger or the cassis, but... Oof, no, 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 don't, that's not good. There is something in this that smells like BO. Like, it smells like man BO specifically because it smells like a sweaty man's armpit um, who's like wearing a tree scented deodorant but like the sweat is cutting through the deodorant. I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably going to have to mix this. Um, but my husband agrees that he smells the funk in this one, but the next one. So, okay. When I first got this order, my, my husband knows that I love Nightmare Before Christmas and I had one of these. I had one of these. This is the roll of the dice scent from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I had one of these in the cart when I showed it to him. He bought me five, which I'm actually kind of happy about because I got three of the four um, packaging variations. So from like a collector standpoint, I appreciate that. When I first smelled this smell, this was the first one I smelled because this is the one that I was the most excited about. I gagged. <laughs> this smelled like the BO scent that I described in this. That was this times like a thousand. It was straight like this is like midday the bo smell like you didn't put enough deodorant on and the bo you've been working real hard and the bo smell is just starting to peek through the deodorant this is like end of the day you've been working in a million degrees heat and you you didn't shower the day before and you just put on cologne and you have like lingering deodorant scent from the day before this was so bad Funny story, I don't know if it was just like a shock to my system because I was expecting something different. I don't know. The first day that I smelled this, I gagged. And not just the first time, like the whole first day. I couldn't open it up again without gagging. It was so strong I could smell it through the package. It was so disgusting to me. When my husband got home from work, this is the first thing I had him smell. And he was like, oh, I really like that. I think it smells really good. And I'm like, how? It smells like a stanky person. And he's like, it doesn't smell like that to me at all. Um, he smells the actual scent notes, which are like dark berries, citrus, and like some kind of wood. I, I didn't even write the, the scent notes on these because I was terrified to open them and smell it. 
Um, but he really liked it and he was like, oh, well, if you don't like it, you can just put it in the office and I'll warm it in my warmer. And I'm like, that doesn't really solve the problem because I'm in that office more than you are. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I'm going to have to find something to mix it with. And he's like, no, I really like it. Anyway, fast forward to the next day. I decided to sniff this again. And I didn't smell the I, I still smell kind of like the funkiness. But now it smells more like the mix of the scents making that smell like the mix of the, the scent notes making that smell. It's not so much. Now it really smells more citrusy and woodsy to me. It smells more like a men's deodorant than a man's really putrid VO peeking through the deodorant. <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe what I'm smelling here, but I don't hate it now. I actually kind of like it. And I have no idea what was going on with my nose the day that I got this, but I don't get that putrid BO smell anymore. However, that same kind of like scent profile is in this. And now I smell it more in this than I do in that. And I think it must be the mix of like a woodsy note and like the citrus and the ginger. Because when my husband smelled this, I told him when he smelled this, I was like, this has the same funk that the Nightmare Before Christmas does. It's just slightly different. When he smelled this, he smelled the funk. He's like, yeah, I get the BO smell. He's like, that's bad. I still smell that in this, even, even all this time. It's been almost... I got it on Thursday last week, so it's been uh, six days, almost a week. Yeah, almost a week since I got this, and I have pulled this out and smelled it multiple times, and this scent is not changing in my nose. It's just not. So it's admittedly, it's not as offensive as the Nightmare Before Christmas one was to me on the first day. However, it's still not good. So I'm going to have to find something to mix that with. Um... I was so, so desperate when I smelled this on day one and gagged that I looked up all the videos. Like I searched and scoured the internet to find mixing solutions for this scent because apparently this scent is very polarizing. Um, either you smell the actual notes or you smell putrid B.O. And I don't know what happened. I'm still so confused on what happened to my nose. My husband says it must have been like, I must have had something like a different scent combinations in my nostrils at the time that I smelled it. I don't know. I don't know. But I can handle this now. And I'm very happy about that. Um, anyway, my husband bought me five of these. So let me show you the different um, variations that I got. So I got two of this packaging. I got two of this one. And then I got one of this one. I did not get the super fancy fourth one, which makes me a little sad. But now that I can handle the scent, it makes me hopeful because um, if they ever have them in another flash sale, or if they bring them out for fall winter catalog, um, I would buy more because I would be trying to get that fourth uh, package packaging thing. Also, I want the other two scents. This was the only scent that they had from the Nightmare Before Christmas um, line at the point in time that I went on the website. So this was the only one I was able to get. I don't know if that was the only one they put up or if the other ones sold out, but that's that's what I got. So I'm very happy, very happy with most of these scents. There's only one now, which is the ginger and spruce that I don't like. And it's, it's not even like so, so bad. I can find something to mix it with and I'm sure it'll be fine. This, 
This is my pride and joy. I know it makes me look like a crazy person, but I can literally just sit here and smell it. Like, it's so strong, I can smell it through the package. And I've seen a lot of videos of people mentioning that they've had issues with the bricks not being as potent as the bars. And I can't tell you, generally speaking, but I can tell you that this being my first experience with a brick, we're off to a good start. I love it so much. I love that so much I'm gonna cry because I want it so bad. And I know I could add like a bar of it and do like a Scentsy Club. I just, I don't really wanna do that right now. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put this probably in my melting basket for June and we'll see how much I get through. And if I get through like a lot of it, say maybe like if I can get through half of it in June, I don't know if I'll be able to. But if I can, maybe I can convince my husband to let me buy like 10 more. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so, so happy with everything I got. Um, I'm very excited about my warmers, all my wax. I'm so, I'm so happy. My, a wax makes me so happy now. I don't know why I ever stopped using it. I know, well, life got busy and out of sight, out of mind. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.